Hello everyone and welcome to the Alchemical Mindset. I am Renz and today we're going to talk about your new year, my new year. Your soul return, my soul return, my born year, your born year, your birthday, my birthday. Because mine is coming up very, very soon. And I want to show you guys how I proceed into my new year. Who cares about January 1st? My new year starts October 15th of every year. My born year, my solar return. So I want to thank everybody who subscribes to the channel. If you're finding us for the first time, we talk about the 360 degrees of life on this channel. Whether it's your spirituality, your relationship, your money, your family, everything, your health, we discuss it all. And I want to thank everybody who supports the channel through Patreon. Those who shop at Uncle Ren's Popcorn, I greatly appreciate all of your support. It means so much to me, and I am in such gratitude for it. So continue to share this video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. Greatly appreciate it. So in 15 days, it will be my solar return, my birthday, October 15th. And from the 1st of October on to that, on to that day... I practice a mindful meditation process of renewal, of beginning of a new year. And every year is a little bit different for me because I also utilize the lunar calendar in order to process my mindful meditation and my alchem alchemical arts that I practice. So this year, though, it falls almost perfectly. I think it was 2017. Uh, when my solar return, the 15 days leading up, led to a full moon on the 15th. My, I think it was 2017, might have been 2016, but it was one of those years. Well, this year, it almost perfectly lines up to a new moon. Meaning that tonight, October 1st, is a full moon. And on October 16th, a day after my birthday, born day, solar return is a new moon so what does that mean for those who uh, practice the alchemical arts of dealing in lunar calendars lunar movements well from a full moon to a waning moon into a new moon is a time of releasing to a renewal restart and this is almost perfect it would be perfect if the new moon was on the 15th, but it's almost perfect. So we're going to function, my mindful meditation with me and my wife, are going to function in a way that leads to a brand new beginning because we are going into a new moon. So, and for those who are skeptical about this, let me put it to you this way. Tonight is a full moon. And if you look at most research of police activity, more violent crimes, more violent aggravated activities occur with people during a new moon. I mean, during a full moon. Sorry, during a full moon. Maybe it has something to do with the rising of the tides. As we know, the moon moves the water on the planet. It raises the tides. It lowers the tides. We also understand that our bodies is 70 to 80 percent water. Some of y'all is like 50% because y'all don't drink water. But most of us is 70 to 80% water. So the water tables in our body changes. And although it changes every day, when it comes to a full moon and whatnot, it kind of heightens. Now, the, the crazy part about it is that the moon really doesn't move that much as far as it, it, well, let me rephrase. The moon doesn't have a lot to do with whether it's a full moon, quarter moon, uh, new moon it's really where it's positioned to reflect sunlight but that's the whole thing the position of the moon is in a different point for each portion of its glow therefore where the moon is actually more where the moon is located that determines your water tables in your body and I don't know you know there was there's a song by Queen uh, finding it's called somebody to love and in that he says that People say that I got water on the brain, meaning that he's not all there, that he's a little crazy, that he's kind of out there, that he's doing things that don't make sense. And maybe doing this full moon, people have water on the brain. So they do things that, yeah, you know, it just doesn't make sense. And they do things outside of what they would normally do throughout a monthly cycle. But 
we know that there is a correlation to moon cycles and people's activities, how we act, how we are. Most of the time, we allow that to affect us instead of us affecting that. And that's where my mindful meditation will come into play. Now, every year, I meditate oh, during this time frame. And at the end of the cycle, on the 16th, I will then write down my goals for the year. Now, we also know through many studies, through Harvard University, through Stanford, through Oxford, through Cambridge, just through independent corporations, through books over and over again, that those who write down their goals have a higher probability of achieving those goals. Just this year alone, one of my goals was to marry my wife. Another one of my goals was to get down to 225 pounds by my birthday, by my born day. I still have <laughs> about eight, nine pounds to go, which is still possible. Uh, so I haven't achieved that. But I achieved the goal of marrying my wife. I achieved the goal of becoming a real estate agent. I achieved the goal of opening up Uncle Ren's Popcorn, another store. You know, there were goals in there. I achieved the goals of getting on my 70 10 10 10 financial plan. I achieved the goals of raising my credit score above 700. I achieved these goals of uh, um, financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually. To become more spiritual is one of my goals. And I achieved these goals mainly because I wrote them down. And when you write them down, you will have a higher probability of achieving them, of success. And so during this time frame, I, at the end of it, I will write down my goals for the next coming year, the next 12 months. And I will then identify which goals must be, uh, that make, which goals will make the biggest difference. Which goals must be obtained in order to change my life uh, uh, to the greatest extent. That's why this year, the goal that would change my life for the, for the greatest extent for, uh, was marrying my wife, uh, becoming a realtor, and opening up Uncle Ren's Popcorn, opening up another Uncle Ren's Popcorn. Those were the primary goals. And uh, go becoming more spiritual, it's, that's one of the goals every year. And I always achieve that one because that's a, a, a big center for me. Now, during this time frame, I'm going to keep this short. This one is a special year. This one is a special year. Uh, you know, this one matches up very well with tonight's a full moon and every other night is going to be a waning moon until we get to the 16th, which is a new moon. The waning moon represents what you release, what you let go of, what you dispense out of your system, out of your life, out of your, uh, your ecology, what you change and let go of, things you've been holding on to, fears that you've been dealing with, um, you let go of, uh, how people have per pictured you and how you've pictured yourself, all these perceptions we let go of, whatever it is you need to let go of, certain foods you let go of all these things. Certain people, you let go of all these things. Certain environments, you let go of all these things. And over this waning moon, you let go of all these things. And when you come to the new moon, it is a rebirth, a renewal, an opportunity for you to now grow whatever it is you now want to grow in your life. You, whatever you want to now achieve in your life, you start to grow these things. So during this cycle, this year, 2020 of my solar return, I will be going through a process of releasing certain things out of my life, releasing certain things out of my psychology, releasing certain things out of my spirit, releasing certain things out of my soul, releasing certain things out of my body, releasing so many things away from me that does not serve me. So that when I get to the 16th, when I have my birthday on the 15th and the 16th is that new moon, that I now am open, fresh, ready, cleansed for a solar, for another solar return that will be amazing because I will have released all these things that have been holding me back. All these things that's been stifling my growth. All these things that's been keeping me from becoming the greatest version of myself. And even when I get to that version, there is still yet a greater version because we understand that in my coaching, that capacity plus a balanced business life and a balanced personal life 
equals infinite growth. So there is no point where I am complete. There will always be more for me to gain, more for me to grow into, just as there is for you. There's more for you to become, more for you to grow into. You have an identity that is far greater than anything that you have ever seen of yourself, known of yourself, you've ever experienced, and it's right here. It's right here waiting for you. Now, there are special things that I will do, and I know that I said that I will begin to codify to you guys my spirituality and how I function. So let me go ahead and begin that process right now. I don't want to lay everything out because that would be like a six hour video. But we will start to codify some of these things. So because we're going into a waning moon and the first seven days of this waning moon, I will utilize the chakra system to release certain aspects of things out of my life. For instance, today is the root chakra. So today it's about fear. Fear is what blocks your root chakra. Fear is what blocks the foundation of your root chakra. So I will begin today writing down what I fear, what things create fear in me and begin to release them, to let them go. And there are different processes in letting them go and releasing these things. And then tonight when my wife and I meditate, do some mindful meditation, we will uh, we will meditate in a way that allows us to let these things go. We will sit in mindful meditation, seeing all these things floating away from us, seeing all these negative things that deals with fear going away from us, that go, deals with your foundation going away from us, not being a part of who we are. And that's what I want for you guys. I want to share that with you. And I'll be sharing this process with you guys throughout this entire this entire uh, time frame. I know normally, normally during my solar return, I just tell you guys that hey, it's the beginning, it's the 15 days into my solar return, and I look forward to celebrating it with you guys uh, through video, and it's going to be great, and it's my new year, and I write down my goals. That's normally all that I talk about, and sometimes we talk about whatever the lunar cycle is. Well, today I'm giving you guys a lot more. I'm giving you a lot more, and I'm so grateful that I'm in a position to be able to do that, to share this information with you, and to share it confidently, to share it in a way that I know that it is real and it happens and it and it's for me and just as much as for you but it's for you to do it in your way it is for you to do it in a way that connects you to your body to your spirit to your soul that connects you to the infinite wisdom of the universe to that infinite intelligence to the creator to the universe universal energy of movement it's for you to do that and for you to do it in the whatever framework that works well for you. It is not for me to push you into anything, but it's for you to find it and be it for yourself. So today we will release fears. Just And you can go back and find some of my videos where we talk about releasing and opening your chakras and releasing these fears that blocks you, the fear of whatever it is, whatever the fears you may have that keeps you from, from performing and becoming great. So I appreciate you guys. I look forward to it. We're going to have a grand time. Um, you know, me and my wife meditating and, uh, you know, just participating in some of the more uh, spiritual things that I that I love to do uh, that gets me into a mindset. And as I told you guys before, my spiritual practices, is they're not about the ritual creates or manifests whatever it is that you're working towards. It's about the rituals put you in the mindset for what you want to manifest. It's all starts here. It's all here. The positive and the negative, the God and the devil is all here in your mind. And that's where the battle is. And that's where we must overcome the negative portions of your brain in order for you and I and everyone else to come out into our divinity. And that's the whole point. That's the whole point. Like, when you participate in prayer, it is not so much the ritual of prayer that moves you. It is the ritual of prayer that moves your mind, your thinking. When you go to your synagogue, your mosque, your church, when you participate in walking around the stone for seven times and then touching it and throwing rocks at it, it is not the physical ritual that brings you to this state. 
but it is your mindset. The ritual is there to take your mind there. Uh, for those who utilize ayahuascas and shrooms and any other thing like that, it is not the abuse of, but it is when it's used responsibly to bring your mindset to that point of openness to be able to explore the deeper connection between you and the universe, between you and all, you and the creator. That's what it's all about. You developing your spirit being, your Atman, coming out and becoming great and amazing and you can. Just be open to it. Just open yourself up to being able to grow, to accept that there are things that's going to come at you that you may not like, but it's what you need to deal with. When you deal with your fears, there are going to be things that will come at you, things that you will have to face, things you will have to accept, but then those are the challenges for you to overcome, to recognize that those fears are all illusionary, that they're not real. If you can recognize something as simple as the fear of death, is not real, that there is no such thing as death, that it's just a transmutation from one form to another form to the next form, that that's all it is. But recognize that you are the determining factor as to what that transmutation is, what vibrational state you would exist in next. And when you recognize that there is so much freedom in not running around with the fear of what happens next, the fear of if I don't do this or I don't do that, what happens next within your relationships with your family, your friends, your husband, your wife, your coworkers, your boss, recognizing that if you were to lose your job, you will find another one. Don't be in fear. And when you're not in fear, you know what you do? You go out and you do that job like a beast. When you're not in fear, you go out and you work out like a beast. When you're not in fear, you stand in front of the podium and talk to millions of people like a beast because you're not in fear of what others may say. You're not in fear of being alone. You're not in fear of losing your house, losing your job. You're not in fear of these things. So when you're walking not in fear, you become powerful. More powerful than you can ever imagine. So let's release that fear. Let that fear go and see your divinity. So always remember, and I, I, I thank you. I have so much gratitude for you guys being here. So continue to share and support the channel. But always remember that you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.